Page six now, blessed constitutional pushback to an out of control, radical Marxist governor of a very blue state. Gavin Newsom is not happy about residents of his state defying him. He's not happy about California residents actually enjoying life and living life and engaging in their very limited freedom. Oh no, dictators cannot have that. Why? Because these people are not allowed to not follow his orders. To the governor, these people are criminals against the state. They actually went to the beach, ignoring his authoritarian decrees out of Sacramento. So Newsom singles out Orange County for punishment. After all, Orange County still leans Republican. Can't have that. Therefore, Newsom bans the beach for the people of OC. But guess what? Funny thing is happening. Leadership in the OC is saying to the governor, go pound sand. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, the OC sheriff, this is the Orange County, sheriff had a rather quick and terse response to the governor of California. God bless him for it. He basically says, hey, you're singling out Orange County. That's not fair. You're wiping out the constitutional rights of Orange County residents and others. That's not right. And that people should be able to exercise their freedom, their liberty, with no fear of prosecution. And we have some local municipalities now suing, or at least threatening to sue, the governor. The problem is, the problem is, as a legal mind that I know you have, the governor has time on his side on this thing. I first want to applaud the beloved sheriff in Orange County, who apparently has read the United States Constitution, which has granted all Americans a birthright that the Constitution says is not able to be taken away. The first, the fifth, and the 14th Amendments have been run over by a bulldozer with the name Newsom on the side. You cannot elect a uh, governor, in this case, who becomes Il Duce, the leader, and decides willy-nilly what he thinks is best for all of us. It's the other way around. You can't take the rights away without due process, without legislative input. This is taking of liberty. And there's so many violations of the Constitution. I'm shocked that more people aren't walking around with constitutions and literally passing them out saying, you have no right to make fiat legislation besides your bed at night and decide in the morning, this is what you're going to do. God bless Orange County. I hope the rest of California follows the sheriff. And make no mistake, uh, Barry, it, he's singling out Orange County because it still does lean slightly Republican. There, At least there's a, a large vein of Republicanism flowing through Orange County still. And I guarantee you that's part of his formula. But also part of his formula now is more testing. This governor, and there are others, but it's, you know, most of the governors are taking their cue from this guy. We need more testing, he says. We got to hit a certain threshold of testing. But this becomes a vicious circle, right? Because the more you test, the more you're going to find positive cases of COVID-19, the more the numbers are going to go up. So you're never going to have this 14-day lag. You're never going to have this 14-day decline. In other words, if you apply the same thing to just the regular seasonal flu, if we hunted around for people with the seasonal flu, we would shut down government every year. Well, you, you're really hitting the nail on the head. When you create a false, impossible standard to meet, you justify your obscene destruction of the Constitution. There are some studies, Graham, that intimate that half of America will have COVID-19 this year, and 99% will have less symptomology than the seasonal flu. Right. By the way, the seasonal flu has still killed more people this year than COVID-19, but nobody seems to notice, and we didn't destroy the economy for the seasonal flu. This is an obscene abrogation of constitutional rights that the media, with the exception of, well, Graham Ledger, is not seeming to notice. Hey, the Constitution trumps all state laws. You can't just throw it out the window. I wish people would read the Bill of Rights. They'd be very angry if they realized what is being taken away from them without their input, without their, well, agreement, and over their objection in many cases. You said it, it, it's our birthright. Um, and those numbers you just quoted there, what they do is they drop the mortality rate, uh, Barry, to below 
the seasonal flu. Is anybody paying attention? Just run the numbers yourself. You don't have to rely on the media. You don't have to rely on me. Run the numbers yourself. The mortality rate is now lower than the seasonal flu. Why are we doing this? Very thank you.